Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. We want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth, who rule well, and who labor in this word. We also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as your confusion and faith brothers. Now, with that, the spirit jumped on me uh, earlier. Well, actually, for the like last couple days, to do a video on the kingdom of heaven, man, which is to come, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on this planet Earth, man, and it's going to be on many other planets. But like as the scriptures uh, says. The uh, Most High, he he created this earth to be inhabited, man. So uh, with that, I'm gonna get uh, the first scripture, and maybe, and then I'm pretty. I know this brother gonna have uh, precepts. Kind of, you got it. Huh? Kind. This is Isaiah chapter 45, and uh, starting at verse 17, and it reads, "But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh with an everlasting salvation." Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Because, man, this world not going to end. Uh, Babylon, which is modern day, which is spiritually modern day America, and uh, which is spiritually uh, Sodom, it's going to be destroyed, but uh, not the whole inhabited earth, man. So kind of continuing on in verse 18 of Isaiah chapter 45. For thus saith the Lord, that created the heavens, Yahweh Selakia, the heavenly father, Yahweh himself, that formed the earth and made it, he have established it. He created it not in vain, but he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else so come. The heavenly father created this earth to be inhabited, man. He created it for us so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos and the so-called Native Americans to rule and for all the other heathen nations to be in subjection to us. You got it. I, uh, I got this one. Because uh, in the, <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven is basically what we're striving for on this side. This is not our rest. This is not our kingdom. This is Esau, the so-called white man's kingdom. You shouldn't seek to have everything that you want here. This is not the place of our rest. This place is wicked. Is broke down, it's raggedy, and I'm not just talking about America, I'm talking about all around the planet, because this is, everything is under the rule of Esau. This is not what is promised to the Israelites, all right? We have to remove our mind out of here and look forward towards our kingdom, all right? This is why we're doing everything that we do. This is John chapter 14, starting in verse 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a uh, place for you. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. <laughs> All right, in those mini mansions, all right, this is not only talking about our kingdom, but it also talk, it's also talking about the other planets, all right, the rest of the galaxies, the rest of the universe. Not only are we going to have the kingdom here on earth, but we're going to we're gonna explore, we're going to go out, we're going to uh, venture, we're going to be fruitful, all right. We're going to do things that Esau, the so-called white man, shows us in his movies and in his video games and in his books, things that he fucking wishes he could do. I'm also not going to allow Esau to set up uh, base on Mars. Why? So he can destroy Mars like Earth? No. He's going to allow his chosen elect then trickle down to the nation of Israel to set up everywhere else. Uh, verse 3 And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also. So we're going to receive that as a gift of Yahweh Shai. Alright. And that's what you're supposed to be looking forward to. Fuck burgers and fringes and Hoes with head wraps on this side. We get all that in the kingdom. That's when we go. That's when it's time to get five, ten, fifteen, twenty, a hundred thousand wives. All right, be a big family man. God. That's shit. That's not shit. That's in the kingdom. Cause this shit on this side right now. That's not what we set up to do. We set up to push this work. We will get our kingdom on the other side. More food than you can eat, and always be full. You know, you're only eating because you want to. You ain't starving to death. All right, and the shit tastes good. Good water. 
good fruits, good vegetables, all right, actual fun, and fun through righteousness, not in wickedness. You got it, all right? Okay. Uh, and this, going off of uh, what you just said, this is, uh, this is Matthew's, say Matthew's chapter uh, 19 and verse 27. And this is the apostle Peter asking how shy, what is he going to get for putting in this work? Like you said, we're supposed to be doing this work right now. Um, so this is Matthew, St. Matthew's chapter 19 and verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man sh shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tri tribes of Israel. Because in the book of Romans, it says that we're, we're going to be joint heirs. Us hopeful elect, man. The elect are going to be joint heirs. We're hoping to be those hopeful elects. That's why we're doing this work, because we want the kingdom of heaven, man. We don't give a shit about what's going on inside. Hell yeah, shit, we want some box on this side. We want some good tasting food. But other than that, man, fuck this place. Uh, continuing on. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my namesake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So kind. You know, we're gonna we're gonna receive a hundredfold or whatever we want that's in righteousness and we're going to receive everlasting life here on earth you see we're going to get new bodies and we're going to have the kingdom man God. our kingdom just God. to make a quick point because i was yep. thinking when you said it the scripture and i'm relating this onto this wall us having our kingdom here would be building upon esau's foundation trying to live it up here this we're not going we're still under his laws. We're still under his rules. We're gonna break his shit down and build something new. Y'all, y'all niggas is trying to, y'all trying to build upon somebody else's foundation. Y'all yeah. trying to build on Esau's foundation. All right, and if you do that, you're subject unto his rules. You step in somebody else's house, you're subject unto their rules. You build your own house from the ground up. You don't have to listen to nobody other than whatever you want to do in righteousness, of course. Come. All right, so you should be looking towards. The kingdom. You should be looking towards this place being melted down, all right, burned off of the sins, and the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Hamalakwa uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, risen in the ashes, all right. That's what's coming next. Not fucking, uh, Lord willing, hopefully not an another year's Hebrew Israelite Award show, a uh, jumbo jet for IUIC, all right. The uh, uh, some more. Niggas for comfy to fuck all, all that shit is that's not what we're supposed to be looking towards, man. The kingdom, man. That's why we do this. This is what we believe in the scriptures for. Yep. And if you don't believe in that, then you need to get the fuck out of here and make space for somebody else who does. And the most high gonna make space. <laughs> the most high gonna take look, man. Look. <laughs> yeah. The most high will take this talent, whatever he gave you, and give it to somebody else. You got it. Con uh there's this uh, second Edris chapter two verse ten. Thus saith the Lord unto Edris, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, mm. which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me, and give these the everlasting tabernacles which I have prepared for them. And what's this? What's this that the Most High keeps talking about? These places He have prepared for us. He already He already knew. He already has some nights and set for us. He know what uh, His people like. His chosen like. Right, he created this shit. Huh. Verse uh, 12. They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savor. They shall neither labor nor be worried. All right. Uh, go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that ye may be, sh that they may be shortened. Uh, the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. All right, so we're going to get those. So what is it saying? Uh, we're not going to labor nor be worried in the tree of life. We're going to have all knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and righteousness, and be perfect with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but then gain understanding of the things that we don't know now. The things that the, the things like how Solomon had, the understanding of the elements, how things work, all right, and perfectness. That's what we're going to gain. And it says all we prepare. All we have to do is like, what does it say? 
Watch. What is saying Matthew? Watch and pray. Right. Pray for a few days unto you so we can hurry up and get it and get the fuck up out of here, man. That's right. That's what we're looking forward towards, man. Not the next sick of waking up working for paychecks, man. Getting crumbs after taxation and shit. Sick of uh, going to the store, having to budget shit so you can make it through each week. That's not fucking life. That's not what, that's surviving. And you can only survive for so long. You can't survive forever. You got it, right? Okay. Uh, this is good for that priest that you just brought out. And uh, second, uh, as you're starting at verse 10, this is Daniel's chapter 7 and verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high all everybody on planet earth and that's the nope. easy fix we go to songs and prove who the saints is kind that's what we get not you not you uh so-called white people you eat mites this is your kingdom you get to do whatever the fuck you want not you chinese because they want they say they ruling next you moabites you ammonites you're not ruling shit next we're not gonna be turning on the tvs and seeing slanty eyed niggas in style that's the new dress code and shit Motherfucker, instead of saying Edomites and Jordan commercials, it's going to be gooks and shit. No. You Ishmaelites, y'all literally have y'all kingdom. Go to fucking Dubai and the United Arab Nations. Y'all literally got y'all kingdom already. You Elamites, you got all the up and down of India, Bangladesh, fucking Nepal, all those places. Y'all got all that. Our shit is coming next. We only ran for what, 40 years? All right? Yep. Our shit is coming next. We from, we've been from captivity to captivity. And very soon we finna break forth and take the fuck over. Planet of the Jakes, like Dua said. Yep. Right. Kind of, this is what the brother just uh, quoted. And he said you can go to Psalms to see who the saints are. Uh, just real quick. Psalms chapter 148 and uh, verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people. That means the strength. The word horn means strength, man. He exalted the strength of his people. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise you, the Lord Yahweh. So, uh, we're the saints. Uh, going back into uh, Daniel, bear with me, uh, chapter 7 and verse 27. Uh yeah, kind. It reads, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna start over again. Uh Daniel chapter 7, verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high Yahweh. We just established who the saints were, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. So all you and he all you other heathen nations, y'all gonna have to serve and obey the heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, and He still ain't fucking with y'all. And He still y'all gonna have to do everything according to uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, and He still ain't fucking with y'all, man. Kind yeah. you got it. Right. And did you wanna? Uh, you got that Isaiah sixty? Uh, uh you. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Isaiah 16, 15? Yeah. God, okay. I was going to start at 10, but you got it. I, God, no, I got something. No, this is uh, Amos okay. 9 and uh, 6. It is he that buildeth his stories in the heaven and hath founded his troop in the earth. He that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord uh, uh, Yahweh is his name. So basically showing the most high, he's building up these places for us. It says, it is he that uh, buildeth his stories all right, and you look up that word in Hebrew, it was uh, ma'ala. Let me go back to it real quick in the uh, in the blue letter, which basically means, basically, let me go to it real quick. So I'm just quoting Amos 9 and 6. Uh, that word for stories in the Hebrew. Uh, uh, stories, ma'ala. That uh, says what comes up, thoughts, step, stare, step, stories of heaven, ascent. All right. So basically the outer creations going in about what? Outer space. Everything else that we don't know about. Everything else that is unseen. 
even the parts of this planet. Esau didn't even explore all this planet yet. They still got untold amounts of the sea that they ain't been able to explore. They still got forests and jungles that they can't step in and run through because they pussyfoot and they ain't got the technology to rock out with them cryptic animals. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get everything, man. All of these things that the most high build it. You think we, well, you think we all going to just be hanging in one spot? All of this planet. And we just going to, and we just going to have to suffer it out in America and a couple in whatever other country we've been scattered. Hell, man. Fuck that shit, man. Niggas will buy a house on a raggedy ass street. Nigga think he made it. Get a car and a fence and a bitch and some dog and the kids. Oh, nigga. Uh, what's that? What's that? And a, 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 a 15 <laughs> foot pool and circumference. Yeah. <laughs> trying to make it sound like it was 15 feet deep, nigga. That's, you mean oh, building a 15 foot in di- pool in, uh, up above ground. In diameter. <laughs> going around. <laughs> yeah. Jake think. What's that Rick Ross saying, man? He, he said in the song, uh, I, I, I got it ground up. Y'all got it renovated. You niggas enjoy shit renovated, man. Yeah. Y'all like paying money, man. That's not what, that's not what, if you on that mindset, you all about some y'all started not dealing with you. The apostles say it all the time, rulership mentality. That's what you're supposed to come back to. A king wants a dominion. Malakwa, kingdom. Uh, that's what kings want. That's what they, they uh, Whatever, you got it, man. It's in the fucking word, man. You got it, man. Kind of, uh, man, I, the, the, the point, I was going to get this Revelations chapter 5 and verse 10 is the point, but shoot, I damn near want to start from the top. Uh, kind of, I'm going to just start from the top. Kind of, man. This is Revelations chapter 5 and verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne, a book written within, and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereupon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open the book and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And this is who we call John the Revelator. Man, he wept because nobody was able to uh, open that book, but we're about to see who's able to. And verse 5, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And this is Yahweh Shai. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High Yahweh, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of the saints man we just established who the saints are and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed us to the most high yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and this is talking about this is not talking about every person on the planet Earth. When that says uh, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, that's talking about all the nations where the Israelites were scattered across the four corners of the Earth. But I went, I just read through all that to get to this point right here in verse 10. And has made us unto our power, Yahweh, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the Earth. So the kingdom of heaven is on Earth. And the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native American, as well as the confusion of faces who are going to get there. We're all going to get what we're supposed to look like in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to reign on the earth, man. We're going to reign. And reign means that people are going to be subject onto you. You, oh, what, you just reign, but you're not over nobody? We're going to be over all you people that are... Uh, we're the tail right now, and all you need the nations are the head, but in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be reversed, man. 
You can get that Isaiah. Oh yeah, Khan. This is uh Isaiah. You'll break it down, Bible Rashad. Okay. Isaiah chapter 60. And I'm gonna start at verse 10. Because certain people are gonna build this kingdom up that's gonna be ours. Lord Shit, willing. You can read this all over the 22. Okay, Khan. Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 60, starting at verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. And their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Uh, so our kingdom isn't going to be like how it is now. You got to lock your windows, lock your car, lock your door, lock down your fucking bike. Huh. We're going to be at utter peace. You heathens wouldn't goddamn diggity doggone try it. You get your <laughs> fucking body split to pieces and tossed into a black hole somewhere. That's right. That's true rulership. You don't have to work. In a proper uh, in a proper kingdom, crime is low or to non-existent. But this isn't a righteous kingdom. This isn't an upright place. So you have to suffer everything. And we're not going to have to suffer that. And then we're going to take everything from you. All this gold uh, and stuff that's hid. All right. All the silver. All those things. We're going to get that. And you're going to give it to us. Whether you like it or not. Esau, you sold a lot of You sold a lot of our gold during uh, the, when uh, Christopher Columbus and America Vespucci came over here. They said that, it's, that uh, the Mayans, they had a... Uh, a hidden city and it was paved with gold man it was just it was decked out the entire city was in gold man and and you devils came over there and took all of it so everything that you stole from us you're gonna have to vomit it back up right unto the people you stole it from it's, a, it's all a perfect cycle in a you reap you reap uh what you what you sow you sow the gold and we're gonna take it back for you man because Everything on this planet belongs unto us, man. The Lord made this planet and the other planets for our sake. You heathens are just here. It said that he smote us in his anger. He didn't let you heathens reign because he liked you. He let you heathens reign over us because we were going off. But this planet and, and everything in it was made for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. Um, you got some right now? Yeah, it's no, we'll come back to that. Uh, this is uh, let's go back to work real quick. This is Psalms 21. You know, Psalms 20 and 7. I will declare the decree the Lord, the Lord, yeah, how will I have said unto me, Thou art my son, this thing have I begotten me, and the speak my Lord, how shine, ask of me, and I shall give thee the, the, the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So, and and I was talking about already how shot, but that's going to trickle that on, on down unto us. Yeah. This is uh, Revelation 22 and 12. And, and, uh, and behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to his works shall be. So the reward of enduring unto the end, fighting unto the end, and striving unto the end, it's getting... The same reward that Yahweh Shah had, that 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 he got, the the possession of the heathen and the possession of the earth right under him. We're gonna receive all that in the in the kingdom to come, man. And it ain't gonna be no pearly city coming out the sky, man. It's gonna be us coming down. Lord, will we be a part of the lake, re, uh, putting hell on you heathens and and putting order on the earth, man. Putting righteous judgment on the earth and that's something to be excited about man to be a next the next to know that you're actually going to be a god under our lord yahweh shot little g man not big g but little g a, 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 a little g power on the planet earth man that's something to rejoice about and that's going that's a part of the reward that we're going to receive i got preset real quick yeah for because what the brother ariar just said this is the uh, scripture that backs that up that we're going to receive what Yahweh Shai receives. Lord willing, we're those men. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High Yahweh. And if children, then heirs, 
heirs of the Most High Yahweh and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may that we may be also glorified together. So kind of we're going to be like you just said, we're going to get that. That's the scripture that proved it. We're going to be joint heirs, Lord willing, with you. How shy, man. Yeah, but I got something off of what you brought up in Isaiah about the pearly gates. It says this Revelation 21 and 10. Yeah. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the holy city. I mean, the great city, the holy Jerusalem, the, the ascending out of out of the heaven from Yahweh. And this isn't actually a goddamn uh, downtown Detroit floating <laughs> floating from the sky. It's, it's going to be the men of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai who are doing it to the end, returning to the earth, man, from them chariots. Having the having the glory of Yahweh and, and, her, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as as crystal and he and he and and had a wall great and high and it had a had twelve gates and the and the and at the gates twelve angels and names written thereon which are the names of the twelve tribes of Israel I mean uh, of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven, it just, pl it just, pl it's that's plain as day. God. That's fucking plain as day. It just said who the who the kingdom is for, man. It, it man, <laughs> what is it? It it doesn't make any sense. It says twelve angels at the twelve gates were the twelve tribes of Israel. What does the whole world fit into this? I don't, I can't see the whole world in it. I don't see right. I don't see a whole world. It says the twelve tribes of Israel, man. God. That's a good scripture. You got it. Uh, that's yeah, it. Keep going. Oh, okay. Get my, uh, oh, uh, back in Isaiah chapter sixty, uh, verse, verse uh, twelve. 12. Come. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come onto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? so, so what is the place of the Most High Yahweh's feet, man? Well, let's get that. Let's go to the uh, book of Acts, uh, chapter 7. It's going to explain the earth is the Most High's. That's where his feet at. That's where the, the glory is going to be at. Uh, this is Acts chapter 7 and verse 48. And it reads, How be it the Most High Yahweh dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. So come on, it says right here, And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth, man. And you other heathen nations are going to build it up. Continuing on in verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despised thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Yep, so we're going to have heathens as slaves. Okay. So there's, there's no debating it. There's no talk about it. There's too many scriptures saying otherwise. Yep. It's not even a, a, a statement that should be coming out of anybody's mouth that knows that there is a lot. Well, like you people say, slavery's always been around. Yeah, it's going to be come right back around. <laughs> right. Too. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency. A joy of many generations. Kind of, I got this real quick to bring that one. All right, because we we're gonna get back everything, not only uh, physical, but we're gonna get a reputation back. We're, it's no longer gonna be we're no longer gonna be known as niggas and spicks and tomahawks and fried chicken eating uh, 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 cerveza drinking uh, spirit uh, spirit chucking tomahawk tossing ass. 
Savages. Now all that's going to go away. All right, Mi Micah chapter 4, verse 1. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai shall be established in the top of the mountains, meaning what? We're going to be on top. We're going to be the leading government. We're going to be the best. Like that, it, like that game, King of the Hill. Mm-hmm. God, uh, still in verse 1. And it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, into the house of the Most High Power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai from Jerusalem. So everyone's going to know who the chosen is. There isn't going to be no more like how they say now you got people that come from other countries. They won't fuck with us because they see the rumors and sh or they hear the rumors and they so-called see us on the media. You know how we act. Oh, black people steal. Mexicans kill. Uh, Native Americans live in the forest somewhere. All right. All those things are going to go away. You're all going to know who the ruling is. They're going to come up. Oh, that's the Israelites. <laughs> that's the masters. Look at them. Man, wherever they go, they shine. Dang, they can fly. They're going to be looking at us like gods. Because to them, we are going to be gods. Now, that's a sphere, man. It's a, it's a song that they made in a city that I grew up in called Lincoln Park. And it's this, it's this northern... I'm going to do a video on it. But it's a this northern tribe cat. They, they got them dancing and shit. And then uh, the police is running after them. Run up in his backyard. And uh, and uh, he, he turns into an eagle. So this devil knows... That we're gonna get the spiritual powers, man. That we're we're gonna be the next rulers of the planet. I was thinking about that. I was running. And I was thinking about that, man. We're gonna be the next god to the planet, man. That's man. That's something to be excited about, man. That's something. And when I was running and when and when I was thinking about it, I was getting pumped. And and I, and on the bus, oh, I seen a bus and the bus said zero one four four. So. Hey man, that's just the spirit of Yah. I hope I should be out shot. Cause I wasn't expecting to see that. I just looked in the bus it said 0144. I was like, well, that's the spirit, man, because that's what's about to happen, man. Even these ricky dink niggas that that's that just smoke crack and and, and, what it's gonna say. and, and, and be a drug addict all day, they're gonna have spiritual powers. Like Apostle Tar said, every Israelite is gonna have spiritual yeah, powers in the kingdom, man. Yeah. We're all gonna be great, man. From the least to the greatest, man. Our people are gonna be great once again, man. And you heathens, you gonna see it, man. You gonna know that's the Israelite. I was getting, I was getting pissed, man. I was like, you fucking devils knew this so long, and you ain't tell us shit. But we gonna, we gonna beat, beat your head in, man. We gonna beat your fucking head in. You gonna be the Edomite. You gonna be a boy, and we gonna be the gods over you, man. Little G. Yeah. And them ricky dink niggas. That you see that it's drugged out and cracked out, they gonna be bigger and they gonna have greater stature than you ever had, man. Yep, kind of. And that, and that's some even to be to be happy about to to know that our people are gonna get out this low fucking estate that they're in, man. Even these little badass nigglets, these cracked out niggas, they're gonna be gods on the planet, man. Under our Lord Yahweh Shai and under the elect. That's how it's gonna be set up, man. It's something that's gonna be something great. The little kids gonna be flying and shit. <laughs> and those Israelites run to come to say. Right. Okay, yeah. A joy of many generations. Thou shalt also, verse 16 of Isaiah chapter 60, thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shall suck the breast of the kings. And that's not talking about the actual chest, you simple minded motherfuckers. You can stop <laughs> in your tracks. That's talking about all day wealth, you idiots. They're going to suck some titties. Right. <laughs> and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, Yahweh, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer. And, and, and man, we going to have the Lord behind us. Oh, uh, he going to be backing us up, man. We ain't got to fight no more, man. Our power is for us, man. Like in the ancient world, if our power, Yahweh, by Shem, was for us, who can be against us, man? And that's what it's coming back to, man. Our power, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is going to be with us, man. That's right. And these heathens aren't going to be able to do anything to stop us, man, because our Lord is going to be with us. You only were able to halt us and stop us because our power was against us. But now our power is going to be for us, man. The power of the of the universe is going to be on our side, man. That's right. It says in Revelation that we shall dwell with Yahweh, man. We're going to be actually 
able to to be with the the Most High again, man. To be to deal with the Heavenly Father again through through our Lord Yahweh Shai. It's man, that's and this it. truth that already got out there, Esau. Yeah. So you can flag as many brothers channels as yeah. you want. You can take down as many channels as you want. It's over with. Yeah. Get ready for captivity, man. Uh, continuing on in verse seventeen. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. And you brothers know there's pennies everywhere on the ground, man. Just God. Pennies, pennies, brass is something easy. It's it's some fucking any anybody has brass. But they make everything out of brass in America. But we're gonna have brass as as gold, so we're gonna have a plenty of metal, man. So brothers, that, gold is basically yeah. gold is brass. Yeah, gold is brass. So we'll have so much gold, it's gonna be to the point to where it's like nothing no more. Right. Like how you can go somewhere, you go bust open a some in your car, and you got coins laid out. That's how gold is gonna be. Yeah. That's how much riches. And so that's the the Lord put all these scriptures in there to exhort us, man, for brothers who be broke. As the light oh, at the end of the yeah, tunnel. Because yeah. he would tell us so yeah. much bad things, yeah. Yeah. they're going to get fucked up. But then he would always leave the prophets with, yeah. with the goodness at the end. So that's, just go out and do your yeah. job. And then all these things are going to come. Yeah, that's that bitter and sweet, man. Having that perfect balance, man. Have, knowing the sweet, knowing that you're going to have gold as brass, but knowing at the same time we're going to suffer, man. But keeping that mindset at the end of this, mm -hmm. it's going to be all worth it, man. It's... Like it says in Romans uh, 8 and 18, that this present suffering can't be compared to the kingdom that we're going to receive, man. Roughly paraphrase the word. It ain't touching it, man. This this captivity is going to be like a blink of an eye compared to the kingdom, man. It just it just hurts right now, and it sucks right now because we're in this flesh. But in the kingdom, man, it's going to be so much worse. Like when you get done, like brothers who work out or, or, or run this shit, when you get done working out or running, you be like, oh, that was easy. I'm done now. That's how the kingdom's going to come, man. It's going to be... be like, oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> My hands is on fire and I'm not getting burned. Oh, shit. The Lord, what? The Lord's right there. <laughs> right. I'm in a chariot. Oh, shit. It's America's burning. Hey, man. <laughs> it's gonna... Hey, man. It's... Man. <laughs> you got it. Kind. I will also make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. And that's all we we in the hood, that's all you hear sometimes. Blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> niggas just shooting shooting each other. Violence. Niggas uh Jake killing each other. That's just gonna stop, man. That's just gonna gonna stop, man. All this is gonna the reproach of our people is gonna be taken away off the off the off the face of the earth in in the galaxies, man. That's right. We're a reproach, man. Our people are looked at as shit, man. Hell yeah. You looked at as shit, which makes us look at as shit. Even though we're the prophets of the Lord, we're looked at as we're looked at worse than these niggas in the <laughs> world. That's fucking crazy. But that's gonna be taken away, and this is gonna be re the reward. That brother's gonna receive that endurance to the end because we're gonna be the first ones that that enjoy this, man. You ain't gonna have to come at, back as a nutsack baby. You gonna come back in the kingdom, like I just said, looking at your hands like, oh shit, <laughs> got a new box. I got a beard now. <laughs> hey, hey, brothers who don't have beards. <laughs> hey, hey, it's good. It's Lord willing, man, we be a part of the lake. We we almost we almost out of here, man. We That's just right. Keep keep fighting. Don't let Satan win and just keep pushing on, man, because as that reward is going to be so worth it, man. It's going to be worth every tear, because we, we be crying in this truth, man. It's going to be worth every tear. It's going to be worth every blood that's going to drop of the elect when Esau come for us. It's going to be worth every scoffing, every person that spit upon us, every person that, that didn't talk shit about us, families for re uh, rejecting us. It's going to be worth all of it at the end of the day, so just keep fighting, man. That's right. Okay, Khan. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, 
but the Lord Yahweh shall be unto thee an everlasting light. Meaning, meaning that the light is gonna be on us, man. This truth is forever gonna be on us, man. Because the sun and the moon is, and they're gonna, they're established forever. So that that's not gonna disappear. That's just saying that's how much the truth is gonna be on us, man. The most high is gonna deal with us. Yep. We're not gonna. He gonna dwell with us. We're not gonna lose the understanding anymore. Yep. We're not gonna go back. We're not gonna. Be, we're always gonna be in the spirit. We're always gonna have the righteousness upon us. He's gonna shine his knowledge and wisdom upon us forevermore and forever and ever and ever and ever, <laughs> and ever, and ever. <laughs> like that kind of song. Yeah. You got it. Oh, for the Lord shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also. And that mourning oh, so like, was a uh, mourn, as in like crying, sadness. Yeah. Our mourning will be done for. That's right. We're not gonna have to suffer anymore. We're not gonna have to suffer the taxes, uh, fucking yeah. child support, uh, 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 getting did wrong, cop roll up on you, and if you want a pistol with you, all you can do is stare at him. All that shit's gonna be played out. Yeah, kind. Uh, twenty one, last week. Kind, yep. Yeah. Thy people also shall be all righteous. Yep. So and that's what Ooh. going back to what the uncle saying. All the two thirds are gonna die, but they are gonna come back and they are gonna be righteous. That's right. Ooh. So we're all gonna be on point. So we are not gonna slip no more. Therefore, we'll have everlasting dominion. Therefore, it's just gonna be you're never gonna die either. Kind, all righteous. All these broke down, raggedy, weed smoking, bus taking ass niggas. On the box, yeah, selling box <laughs> ass whores, fucking red weed wearing ass bitches, all that gonna shit gonna be done yeah. away with, and they're gonna be back in their right mind. It's gonna be so beautiful, man. We haven't seen it, man. We, the Lord give us little dreams and shit, man, but we, like Paul said, he said what he seen, he said it was, it wasn't lawful for him to say it, meaning. He literally couldn't describe how beautiful it was, he man. He didn't have the ability. Yep. The Most High didn't even give him the, the words to say. Dang. If he tried to explain it, he'd be like, nah. Hey, it, was, it was just. <laughs> you just got to see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just got to see it to believe it. Yeah, you got to see it. it. It was just so beautiful. It was it was something that words couldn't describe. Mm. Who, who, who can describe flying, man? Just like getting up and just. Just shooting off, man. How can you describe that, man? How can you describe a people that's been put down to the lowest estate, being exalted above mm. of everybody? How can you describe that, man? You just got to see it to believe it. That, that, that's, that's, that's what it's going to have to be. You just got to have to see it to believe it, man. And you heathens, you're going to see it, and y'all for sure going to believe it. And our people that don't want to get right, it's okay. It's really okay. You ain't got to get right. Really, you you don't. You're going to die a horrible death, and you're going to come back in the kingdom, say it's a lock here, and your ass going to have spiritual powers, too. Fuck them. That's just yeah. more room for us in yeah. the church. Yeah. Hey, the more the Hey, hey, the few of you. The, the, the better chances. Yeah. Two-thirds. I did. Two-thirds. Two-thirds, y'all can do what you Look, do what you want. Take the hey, eight. You you niggas gonna y'all go wicked. take the chip. Y'all gonna take the chip. You the two third. We warned y'all not to. Yeah. Most high already know yeah. y'all gonna take it. Even so from the rest. so, hey, like that song, living my life, live your life, cause in the kingdom you gonna come back and you gonna live better anyways, man. It's it's all right, it's all right. You scoffing niggas, it's all right, man. You gonna die a horrible death and come back in the kingdom under the men that you talk shit about. How about that? <laughs> mm. That thy people also shall be a right shall be all righteous, they shall inherit the land forever. Ooh. That's that there we back to the very topic. The kingdom of heaven is here on earth, man. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I the Lord Yahweh will hasten it. In his time, that's gonna be a lot of sex going on. He said he gonna hasten it too, yep. man. That means quick. That means man. he gonna come quick, man. Yep. The Lord is gonna avenge his elect speedily. It just seemed long to us, man. But really, it's been three days to the Most High, man. Yeah, three fucking days. We, we forget was just about, about days. that. We yeah. was just I, that's the spirit. We was just talking to Shakam. Just had said, yeah. how many? What is the day to the Lord? 
a thousand years. It's been three days. It's been Lord, yep. Right? It's been three days. He that's like that's we have three days to forget about this shit. Three days ago, what happened on Tuesday? Yeah, can't even remember. Can't even remember the shit, man. I can't remember what I ate three days ago. Yeah, you really can't. That's, that's how it is. Most high three days is. That's nothing, man. <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you, don't, you don't remember going to the bathroom and shit? No. Three days ago, man. It's three days ago. It don't it don't matter. Just like this. It's only been three days to the most high, man. And then he gonna return. Yeah, our Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna return and he's gonna glorify us, man. I just got two precepts real quick. Yeah, yeah. This is Revelation twenty one and three. Well, I start from one, man. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Esau's kingdom, this kingdom right now, because Esau's the end of the world. He's in the first, the first earth. But that second earth is, is for Jacob. And it's just going to be a refresh. And the word new is refreshed. And there was no more sea. And, and, and I, John, John, saw the, the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Basically beautiful, man, decked out. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with oh, man, man. with men, Tlachia, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and and yeah, Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power. So the Most High himself. Direct it, dealings. Yep, direct dealings once again, man, through, through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is, is going to still... Be there, but we're gonna deal with uh the heavenly father too once again, man. Just like before. And yeah, and we're gonna be under Yahweh Shai and, and under Yahweh, man. The order's always gonna be there. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, the in the elect, in the twelve. Was the twelve above the uh, elect? It, on down, man. And and Yahweh sh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there and there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, nor shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. That's right. And I got one more, man. Man, that's that, these two are my favorite scriptures, man. Yeah, these are the ones that exhort me when I'm low, man. This, uh, this is Isaiah 20, uh, 26 and 8. He shall swallow up death in victory. The Lord Yahweh, by Shimei Shah power will wipe away tears from off all faces. The rebuke of his people, man, the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off the off all the earth. For the Lord Yahweh, by Shimei Shah has spoken it, and it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our power. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Uh, uh. So yeah, you know, we're going to receive the kingdom of heaven and it's going to be all good. Uh, so we're going to close out with that. Hopefully this uh, video epistle was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakachodash, Barakatham, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit. Bless you. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth, who rule well, and who labor in His Word, giving us Akiyam, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures, all through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai. And we also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news. Uh, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans, as well as you Confusion and Face Brothers. Abal, 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 and Shalom. Shalom.